सो द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ कॉलम कोमेटोग्राफी दैट इज एफिनिटी कोमेटोग्राफी सो थ्रू एफिनिटी कोमेटोग्राफी वी कैन इजिली आइसोलेट दोज प्रोटीन्स दैट हैव एफिनिटी टूवर्ड्स स्पेसिफिक लाइगेंस सो द कॉलम इज फील्ड विथ द बीड्स and in this case these are the ligands so the ligands are attached with the beads covalently so and now the mixture of the solution is added so the mixture contained different types of proteins and but different types of the all the proteins that are present in the solutions are not ligand specific proteins means all proteins uh, all proteins does not uh, do not have the affinity towards the ligand so a specific type of proteins protein has the affinity towards the ligands that are attached with the beads covalently so these green proteins that green proteins have affinity towards that specific ligand denoted as pink color so now the proteins that do not bind or cannot bind with that specific ligands are collected in tubes so the proteins that are that uh, that have that does not have any affinity towards that specific ligand eluted earlier so the green color that is ligand binding protein and pink that is ligand and those ligands are covalently attached with the beads now so the proteins uh, protein that are not bind with that specific ligands are eluted earlier in the tubes now we have to remove those ligand binding protein from the ligands so there are two process first we we can add a solution of salt in this case we add a free ligand and those free ligands compete with the ligands uh, that are attached with the beads now the proteins the the proteins ligand binding protein attached with those free ligand and this free ligand and ligand binding proteins are eluted eluted mm, from the column into the tubes so this is the process by which we can easily isolate the ligand binding protein so this is the free ligand solutions on the other hand the the protein mixture solution the solution of protein mixture and another is free ligand solution so the first point that is ligands in case of affinity chromatography ligands are covalently attached ligands are covalently attached with the beads so ligand are covalently attached with the beads now protein mixture solution of protein mixture so protein mixture is added to the column protein mixture added to the column now proteins have affinity towards specific ligand so the proteins have affinity towards specific ligands interact with those beads now migration of ligand binding protein is retarded by this specific interaction with the ligands now other proteins other proteins in the solution are eluted so other proteins uh in the solutions are eluted now high concentration of salt 
high concentration of salt and free ligand so high concentration of salt and free ligand remove ligand binding protein from the beads so this is the free ligands as you can see from the diagram fifth point the salt uh, so salt weakens salt weakens salt weakens ionic interaction between ligand binding protein and ligand binding protein and ligand so salt weakens ionic interactions between the ligand binding protein and ligand and remove those ligand binding protein from that ligand that are covalently attached with the beads now free ligands on the other hand if we add free ligands so a free ligand competes with beads free ligand competes with beads and release those ligand binding proteins from that specific ligand now we take a example so we can easily understand so atp there are some proteins that have affinity towards atp so atp is covalently atp is covalently attached with the beads so atp is covalently attached to the beads now atp binding protein is added the solution of atp binding atp binding protein and other proteins the mixture of the protein is added so atp binding protein interact so atp binding protein interacts with atp that are attached with that Li attached with the uh, that's beads. Now buffer is added to was the other proteins that are present in the protein mixture, but ATP binding proteins remain in the column because those are uh, interact with those ATP. Now solution of so we have to remove those ATP binding protein. So we add uh, some uh, solution of salt or the solution of free ligand. So the solution of salt or free ligand is added to remove ATP binding protein. ATP binding protein from beads. So solution of salt or free ligand is added to remove ATP binding protein from beads. So what is the role of salt? Salt weakens. Weakens actually this is not weakens. It weakens. So salt weakens uh, the interaction between ATP binding protein and ATP. So salt weakens. This is not weakens. The spelling mistake that is weakens. W e a k e n s. So, now free ATP removes ATP binding protein. Free ATP removes ATP binding protein from those ATP. So ATP is covalently attached to the beads. ATP binding protein is added. ATP binding protein interact with ATP. Buffer is added uh, to worse other proteins. Solution of salt and free ligand is added to remove ATP binding protein. Salt weakens uh, the interaction between ATP binding protein and ATP. Free ATP removes ATP binding protein from those ATP. So this is uh, the free ligand.